So far, we have worked with only one collection in MongoDB database. But when you are creating a real world application with MongoDB as the backend database, you will have multiple collections in that database. For example, you might have a customer collection, a product collection, and an orders collection in your database. And these collections might have some relation. For example, Let's say we have a customer collection where we are storing the customer details. And let's say we also have a product collection and there we are storing some products. So all the customers of our application, we are storing it in the customer collection. And all the products which we are selling from our application, we are storing in this products collection. And each customer here, which we have in this customer collection, they might have purchased some products from our application. For example, let's say this customer one has purchased the product one and product three. In the same way, customer 2 has purchased product 1 and product 4. Customer 3 has purchased product 2. And customer 4 has purchased product 3 and product 4. And here, we want to keep track of which customer has bought which products. So here, we might want to relate our customer collection to products collection to specify what products that customer has purchased. Okay, so in simple terms, we want to relate our customer collection with product collection. So now the question is, how do we store related data in MongoDB? Well, in MongoDB, we have two ways to specify a relation, using embedded documents and by using references. Let's first understand how we can specify relation using embedded documents. So let's say we have a customer collection and in that customer collection, we want to specify what products the customer has purchased. We can do that by embedding product documents like we are doing here. So here we have a purchase field, which is an array. And inside that array, we are specifying what products that particular customer has purchased. So using embedded documents is one way of creating relation in MongoDB. Now, the advantage of this approach is that we do not have to query multiple documents to get the desired output. Since both customer details and product details are available in the same collection, here we don't have to query multiple collections. And because of this, the query will be faster. And the disadvantage here is that this can lead to redundant or duplicate data in the collection. For example, if two customers have bought the same product, then there will be a duplicate entry for that product in both the customer documents. So for example, if you notice, both these customers, this customer John and this customer Mark, both of them has bought this iPhone 12 product. So here also we have that product detail. And in this customer, in the second customer also, we have that product detail. So here we have duplicate entries. We have some redundant data. And the solution to this problem is to use references for creating relation in MongoDB. So for example, let's say we have a customer collection and a product collection. In the customer collection here in this example, we have two customers and in the product collection, we have three products. Now in the embedded documents approach, we specified the product details in the customer document itself. But in the references approach, if you notice here to this purchases field, we are not specifying the product details. Instead, we are specifying the IDs of those products. So in the products collection, we have some products with some IDs. And here we are specifying the ID of those products. We are not storing the product details itself in these customer documents. We are storing the ID of the products which we have in the product collection. So here, this customer collection is referencing this product collection using the ID of the product documents. And this is what the reference approach is. Now, the advantage of this approach is that we have less or no redundant data at all. Because here, we are simply storing the ID of the products. We are not storing the product itself. So in this way, we are reducing the duplicate data in our collection. But the disadvantage here is that in order to get the desired result from both customer collection and the product collection, we will have to query both these collections. So let's say in the result, I want the customer details as well as the product details. So in that case, we will have to query the customer collection and from the customer collection, we will check for the product IDs and based on that product IDs, we will have to also query the product collection. Then only we will get both the customer details as well as the product details in the result. And since we need to query the multiple collections here, it might affect the performance of the application. So the next question is, which approach should you use? Well, you can use any one of these two approaches depending on the requirement. So 
From the next lecture, let's see some of the use cases where you should use the embedded documents and we will also see some of the use cases where you should use the references to establish a relation between two collections. So from the next lecture, let's see some use cases where we need to implement some relation between two collections and there which approach we should use. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.